itch with a hot tub. BAM! <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Van Vibes and Sibes. Today we are at an incredible site in Wales. Well, this weekend we are at an incredible site in Wales. We've come Friday, we've got the day off today, so we've come on the Friday. It's taken us the best part of four hours to get here. We've got three and a half or three and three quarter hours to get here, but was it worth the wait? Wow, was it worth the wait? So, Lou, where are we? So, we're at Bargoid Farm which is near Aberystwyth in yeah, Wales, yeah, mid-Wales. I'd say it's just down from Aberystwyth, isn't it? Yeah, like, yeah. I don't know, 10 minutes or something? Yeah. 20 minutes? And it's a lovely site. Amazing got, site, isn't it? It's yeah, ridiculous. It, it looks, <coughs> it's just so nice. Um, but with the pictures you can have, they're all hard standing pitches, but you can have the option of having a pitch with a hot tub. BAM! <laughs> Which is obviously what we've done. Um, all the pictures are serviced as well, aren't they? They've all got yeah. water. I actually didn't realise this. When we booked, I didn't realise that all the pictures have got their own water tap, like fresh water tap, and they've also got a grey waste drain. Saber, out of the way. They've also got a grey waste drain, which you can't really see. Saber. There we go. So that's really cool. So that means you literally don't have to leave the pitch, really. Um, amazing looking toilet block, which I think in 2020, and I think you said that you think this I think, year? I think they might have won it more than just 2020, you know, um, but it's it's lieu of the year, isn't it? Yeah, which is crazy. But yeah, and then you also get this amazing, like, shed structure that has your hot tub in it, which we'll obviously be getting into later on. But yeah, just amazing. And I'll tell you what the beauty about this is, Obviously, it gives you a bit of extra storage. So, like, we thought, oh, put the shoes down there, store some bits and bobs in here. It's perfect. So, yeah, that is our pitch. We are really impressed with it. The site's also got an amazing farm shop, uh, what looks like a really cool restaurant area, which we're hoping to try out tomorrow evening. Um, so, yeah, come along with us for the ride for the rest of the weekend. This is the first day, I think we arrived about two o'clock. Uh, we've just had something to eat, and now it looks like there's what they call a coastal path that comes from the site. Although I've had a look on the map, and I would say you'd have to go quite far on, on this path to get to the actual coastal path. Yeah, I'd say it's the path to the coastal path, yeah, yeah, not an actual coastal path. Like I you've reckon got to... you've got maybe half an hour to get to the actual coastal path half an hour of walking, solid walking. Yeah. Um, which we might do, but for now, we're just wandering down to the, there appears to be a petrol station and spa shop that this path goes to. So we're gonna wander down to there. And yeah, I think we need some chemical for the toilet. So we're hoping maybe we can get some from there. It's a possibility, um, if not. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. No drama if we haven't got any, but yeah. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Thomas has decided he's fruit of the bridge. Go on, Thomas, you can do it, buddy. Good boy. Didn't help that you got your leg caught.
So the evening has come, we've eaten, we have had a shower before we got in the hot tub because it stipulates that you will not get your deposit back if you do not shower before you get in. We will know. <laughs> um, yeah, they basically said if you've got any like sun cream or body lotions or anything like that, makeup on you and it goes in the water, it'll dirty the water and, and you'll basically lose your 35 quid deposit that you have to put on put down at reception when you when you came here so we decided we'd better have a shower so we did and now we're having a beer in the in hot tub. tub. Living what, the dream baby. <laughs> living the dream what yeah. you want. I've got a hobgoblin ruby and then you've got a, anyone that watched our previous video will know that we've recently been to Diddley Squat Farm. It, so you've got one of Clarkson's Hawkstone Oh yeah I've got a Clarkson Hawkstone. So yeah cheers. Cheers. this morning we're heading down a little bit around the coast about 15 16 miles i think yeah um, to um, national trust is it what is it want yeah i think so it's spelled very strangely <laughs> um, so I, if, if that's not even pronounce it apologies uh, but apparently that's a really good place to see dolphins in carbon bay so we're hoping we can see some dolphins unfortunately We've left the site in relatively nice sunshine and we've now got rain. <laughs> it's absolutely peeing it down. And the clouds have descended a bit, so whether we'll actually be able to see any dolphins is not the question. But we have got another 10 miles or so to go before we get there, so maybe the weather will be slightly different by the time we get there. But yeah, when we get there, we'll uh, there you. See you in a bit.
So we've come to the windiest place on earth apparently. <laughs> um, seen some dolphins which is amazing. I can't believe we just see dolphins in the UK off the coast of Wales. Yeah, um, apparently it's the, one of the largest um, like groups of bottlenose dolphin in the country. So it's a good place to come and see them. Amazing. I don't know if you'll hear any of this because <laughs> it's very windy up here. It is. Have you shown everyone the view? Yeah, the view's ridiculous. It's a bit fresh today, there's a lot of people swimming still. This is an absolutely stunning beach, unfortunately for us, no dogs allowed um, 1st of March to 30th of September, so we, we can't go down there, but it's absolutely stunning. So we're joined in good company on the car park. We've got a Cali, and we've also got what a I think is a T4 auto sleeper. I've just sat and had some lunch, a bit of a ham sandwich, which we made, which was nice. It's the beauty about having a camper van. You've basically got your kitchen with you wherever you go. Yeah, it's great. So you and just your fridge. go. You got your fridge. Oh, I'll just make a sandwich. Yeah. You don't have to think about making a sandwich before you go. It's brilliant. So after we'd fed the dogs we went to the Moody Cow which is the on-site restaurant and we sat in the bar with the dogs because you were able to do that. Lovely atmosphere, really like the decor in here, it's like an industrial sort of farm theme, really nice. Um, like I say, great atmosphere and um, I had a burger and pulled pork uh, burger and Lou had a lamb burger and both were absolutely delicious. So we're coming towards the end of the video and we couldn't finish the video without talking about the amazing site that we were staying on. So the site comprises of mainly hard standing uh, pitches. Some of them have hot tubs, some of them are serviced. Um, just a lovely site. Obviously this day doesn't look very nice, uh, but there's also this wild camping area where you can camp just on the grass. I assume these are non-electric pitches. Um, lots of people seem to be staying on them when we were there. Centre of the site, there's a great big lake um, and some of the hot tubs actually overlook the lake, which is really picturesque uh, and really nice. And there's some uh, geese were about that Saber wanted to eat. Uh, there is building work going on still, lots of work being done to the site to improve it. Uh, there's this moody calf, which is like an indoor play area and obviously this external like climbing frame area for the kids to keep them entertained and the toilets were exceptional, really good facilities, clean, um, lots of like cubicles, warm showers. There was areas to do your pot wash. You could have even done uh, washing. There was a washing machine and tumble dryer. There was a dog wash area, and there was obviously a place where you could empty your chemical toilet. So really, really well, well done the facilities. And I think as we said earlier on in the video, that uh, actually won Lou of the Year in 2020, so very impressive. But the Pièce de Résistance is the uh, on-site farm shop, absolutely crammed full of amazing produce. One evening we sampled their homemade quiche, which was really good. 
Pri a little bit pricey as you could expect from a farm shop, but yeah, absolutely outstanding and the choice just exceptional. So much things that you could get from there, all sorts. Morning, we've just packed up. It's the weather's pretty poor this morning. It's, it's just rain, 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 rain. So there'll be a lot of getting stuff out when we get back. But yesterday we had a lovely meal in the Moody Cow. Moody Cow, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I had a nice, bur well, both had nice some nice burgers. We took the dogs in there, which was really cool. We were able to just chill. Yeah, and it was their first night, wasn't it? Because they've, they've been doing some work on the Moody Cow. They've extended it. So they've been doing the food over in the big function room, haven't they, mm. I think, for yeah. the past, I don't know how long. From what the woman said, it had like doubled in size or something. Um, but yeah, really good, really enjoyed the food. So if you to come here, I do recommend eating at the restaurant. Um, and then, yeah, we just had a dip in the hot tub, went to bed. Pretty much that was our evening. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah, this campsite, absolutely amazing. Probably the best one we stayed on this year, I would say. Probably easily the best one we stayed on. I have to say though, it's not a cheap campsite. You know, it no. comes with a hot tub on your pitch and it's a serviced pitch, hard standing. It goes without saying that it's an expensive site. They're not all uh, hot tub pitches though, are no, they? They're not, no, to bit. be fair, they're not all hot tub pitches. Um, but I think, you know, we've really enjoyed the weekend and although it's been expensive in terms of how much the pitch cost, you know, it was worth it because we've had a really good time, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, check it out if you haven't already. It's called Bargoed Farm. Really, really enjoyed it. So that's us. We're going to head home. We hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have, give it a like. If you're new here and you want to join us on our travels, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.